Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to see a quick revision of transfer pricing. From the exam perspective, there is a probability of 2 to 6 mark that can be asked from this chapter. In simple terms, transfer pricing involves determination of arm's length price in respect of transaction entered into between associated enterprises. So generally, the transfer pricing is used for the following two transactions. Firstly, the international transaction and secondly, specified domestic transactions. International transaction means a transaction that is entered into between two or more associated enterprises and at least one of them should be non-resident. A specified domestic transaction means a transaction that is entered into between two or more resident associated enterprises and aggregate value of the transaction exceeds 20 crores. Okay, now let us see the definition for the associated enterprises. An associated enterprise includes the following. One enterprise holds 26% or more of the shares of the other enterprise. Let us take Reliance Company holds 35% stake in the Geo Company. In such case, both Reliance and Geo are treated as associated enterprise under Income Tax Act. A common enterprise holds 26% stake or more of two or more enterprises. Let us continue with the above example. What if the Reliance Company holds 40% stake in Netflix Company? In such a case, the Reliance Company, Geo Company and the Netflix Company are treated as associated enterprises to each other. The next one is, one enterprise has power to appoint more than 50% of the board of directors of other enterprises. And the next one is, a common enterprise has the power to appoint more than 50% of the board of directors of two or more other enterprises. And the next one is, loan given to other enterprise represents 51% or more of the book value of asset of other enterprise. Repayment of the loan during the year does not make any changes. Let us take, A Limited gives loan of Rs 55 lakh to B Limited, which represents more than 51% of the total asset value of the B Limited. So in such case, both A Limited and B Limited are treated as associated enterprise. The next one is, where one enterprise guarantees at least 10% of the total borrowings of the other enterprise, whereas one enterprise is wholly dependent on know-how, patent and copyright of other enterprises. And the next one is, at least 90% of the raw materials are supplied by the other enterprise and the price and the other conditions are influenced by the other enterprise. The next one is, manufactured goods are sold to other enterprise and price and other conditions are influenced by the other enterprise. The next one is, one enterprise is controlled by individual or HUF and the other enterprise is controlled by its relative or its member. And the final point of the definition is where one enterprise holds at least 10% interest in partnership firms. Okay guys, now let us see how to calculate the arm's length prices and the adjustments arising out of the arm's length prices. Actually, there are 5 methods to calculate the arm's length prices. The first method is comparable uncontrolled price method and the arm's length price is calculated as below. Firstly, take the price charged in comparable uncontrolled transaction and make some necessary adjustments based on the features offered to arrive at the arm's length price. The differences between the actual price charged by the associated enterprise and the arm's length price needs to be adjusted. Okay guys, now let us understand this concept through an example. Let us take, there is a transaction between two associated enterprise, Geo and Reliance Company, in which the Geo Company provides telecommunication services to Reliance Company at rupees 10 crore. At the same time, there is a comparable, uncontrolled transaction entered into between Atel and Rolls Royce Company, in which the Atel Company provides telecommunication services and internet services to Rolls Royce Company at rupees 20 crore. In the given scenario, the arm's length price is calculated from the perspective of Geo Company as below. Firstly, take the uncontrolled transaction price and deduct the internet services as Geo Committee does not provide internet services to Reliance Company. After deducting, we arrive at the arm's length price. From the arm's length price, deduct the actual transaction price of rupees 10 crore. So the difference of rupees 5 crore is required to be adjusted as a transfer pricing adjustment for income tax purpose. Okay, guys. Now let us see the second method. Pre-sale price method. Firstly, take the price charged by the associated enterprise for its further sale to the unrelated enterprise. From this, deduct the normal gross profit margin and the custom duty, transport and other related expenses to arrive at the arm's length price. From the arm's length price, deduct the actual transaction price to arrive at the adjustment amount. 
and the third method is cost plus method in which the direct cost the indirect cost and the normal gross profit margin is added to arrive at the arm's length price from the arm's length price deduct the actual price charged by the associated enterprise to arrive at the transfer pricing adjustment and next the fourth method is profit split method which is also same as cost plus method firstly calculate the cost incurred by the assessee and add its share of total profit to arrive at the arm's length price from the arm's length price deduct the actual price charged by the associated enterprise to arrive at the transfer pricing adjustment and the final method is transaction and net margin method this is also similar to cost plus profit method firstly calculate the cost incurred by the assessee from that add the gross profit margin on the basis of industry to arrive at the arm's length price from the arm's length price deduct the actual price charged by the associated enterprise to arrive at the transfer pricing adjustment okay what if the assessee fails to make the transfer pricing adjustment and the transfer pricing adjustments are made by the assessing officer in such case to the extent of transfer pricing adjustment made by the assessing officer the assessee cannot avoid the chapter 6a deduction and the section 10 aa deduction okay guys the range concept in arm's length price determination the primary and secondary adjustment and the transaction with the person located in notified jurisdictional area and section 94b the maximum interest deduction will be discussed in the transfer pricing revision lecture part 2 if you want to download today's lecture in pdf form you can download it from our telegram channel the link of the telegram channel is given in the description you can check it there okay guys we'll see you in the next lecture video